What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here, and I want to talk to you today about the power of live streams. So if you are creating content, and I hope that you are, and I hope a lot of this is video content and you're getting traction with it, but video content that is posted has some advantages. You can do some editing to it. You can clean it up. You can make sure that every word is right where it's supposed to be. You can make sure that it has nice B-roll or, or transitions or background music or whatever. However, if you have content, like a five-minute educational video, and you post it versus providing that same content as a live stream, many of the platforms will prioritize in favor of the live stream over the posted recorded content. The reason for this is that a lot of people are just curious about live events. Sometimes it's just a curiosity if you're going to screw up the live stream. A lot of times people will see a live event and just be intrigued about going in there and communicating with the creator themselves and asking questions or engaging with the other participants in the chat. So live streams are a great way for platforms to not only get the views that they would normally get, but to create more engagement between their users. And so that's why they tend to promote live streams heavily. In fact, if you do a live stream on YouTube, not only will that show up in the subscriptions feed of the people that are subscribed to your channel, but it will pin your live stream for as long as it's going on at the top of their subscriptions feed. No, so not only will they see that event, but they will constantly see that event until it disappears. What I would highly recommend is doing live streams, live events on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or any of the other platforms. Now, let me get into some tips for how to make live streams easier or even passive on your end. You can use a platform like StreamYard, which is what I use, and connect it to your different social media platforms. And then what StreamYard will allow you to do is set up a stream, a live event, that will be pushed out to all of your platforms at the same time. And the nice thing about this is that some of your followers might be on Facebook, some might be on YouTube, some might be on TikTok. And if they engage with you and put comments in the chat or ask you questions, it will show those all aggregated on your control panel in StreamYard. So you can respond to any participant from any platform. The other advantage of this is that you don't have to do multiple events. You could stream to five, six, seven platforms, but only host the event once, which is also a great way to be more efficient with your time. The second thing that you should know is that you can upload recorded videos to StreamYard that will get pushed out as a streaming video. Now, this kind of tricks the system into thinking that you're streaming live because it doesn't know that this video has been pre-recorded. And now this will allow you to create a polished video with that B-roll or the music or the presentation. You can make sure that it's edited perfectly, that it's a polished product, and yet still get the algorithms push by thinking that it is a live stream event. The drawback to this is that obviously you can't change the content. So if someone jumps on your live stream and asks a question, you can't feel that in the video. However, when the event goes live, you can log into StreamYard and watch it yourself as the administrator and comment as the host to any comments that come in on the chat. So if someone does ask you a question, you can answer those. And because the video is pre-recorded and being pushed out live, you don't have to worry about that video stopping and you taking a moment to address someone's specific question. So there are pros and cons to this, but a program like StreamYard can really help you squeeze out every view and every opportunity that's available. And this can be really powerful, especially as a new creator. So I would highly recommend doing live stream using a very easy and intuitive online application like StreamYard. And then also consider using pre-recorded content 
through StreamYard to get the additional benefit of a live stream. I hope that helps. See you later.